when our ladies in this country when they were we are having the suffrage movement and you know the rallies and all the rights and the marches yeah. last century or so muslim ladies in the 7th 8th 9th centuries they were laying the foundations for hospitals and pharmacies and universities so that's one of the reasons we are here to dispel the misconceptions and to show that these are the realities what Islam teaches and preaches coming from the Quran and the prophetic tradition and here can be the culture let's not judge Islam by the realities of the culture just like we don't want to judge we don't want to judge the Bible based upon the realities of the American culture you know the immorality the porn industry and the me too movement all of them that's culture that's not religion Why are you here? Nadine made me do it. My name is Sabil Ahmed. I'm here at the Muslim Association of Greater Rockford. And we have some special guests over here. And they came here because we are having a mosque open house for our neighbors, our friends, and our brothers and sisters and humanity. How did you hear about the open house, David? So I am the state representative from the area. I know, uh, <laughs> I know uh, Mustafa. Mustafa is a great friend of mine. And that's he, Mustafa. No, no, that's uh, Mustafa Abdul. Okay. Okay. Nadim Tadigi. Okay. Yes, it's Nadim. Yes, no, it's Nadim. I just, I just met him. Everyone, and he's wearing face masks. It's hard to figure out. It's who hard. Is so, have you read the Quran any time? Because one of the gifts that we are giving is that for the sake of education, people may not have read the Quran or met Muslims or listen to presentation they may have many many misconceptions I have never I've never read the the Quran so I, I'm just here to learn and I think this is a great gift to, to, to open the doors here to let everybody in I see there are there are people here from different faiths and people here from different communities and yes. it is just nice to see they're having some good lunch up yeah, there. that's what they are and I'm looking forward have to you that. guys eaten yet? not yet not, not yet, not no. yet. <laughs> am I holding you back? no no no, no <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. so um, you know um, one of the reasons we are having the open house mm -hmm. is because there may be misconceptions people may have and those misconceptions kind of creates walls between communities and cultures and nationalities and faiths and by meeting each other you know smiling at each other eating lunch together those walls many times they move away and then we can see the commonalities that we have and based upon the commonalities we want to work together to make better societies do you agree with that brother ricardo I surely definitely do. I think that um, Christians and uh, Muslims um, for centuries uh, have built relationship from the Middle East to the European. You know, we remember if we talk about history, uh, the Crusades and all the inter-relations uh, regarding to that. But I think that we have so much commonality yeah. between Christians and Islam. Obviously, uh, Islam talking about Jesus as a prophet, we see him not only as a prophet, but, but the difference between here, we believe he is the son of God, right? But at the end of the day, we, we value some of the same pillars that you value about we believe in one God, we, we, we profess that He is the only one, He is the creator of the universe. I mean, if we believe that and we believe in one God, I think that what makes us the common notion between Islam and Christianity, right? Exactly. That we just believe in the true universal God. And that it says, even though we have differences, we have com different backgrounds and different beliefs, but in the end, we value like uh, Khadija, Khadija? Uh -huh. Khadija, and we value Mary, uh, the mother Mark, of Jesus. Yeah. I mean, we have so much, so much co commonalities. As you believe Muhammad as being the prophet, we believe Jesus is the Ooh. prophet. So you we have big back. pillars. Okay. We have great <laughs> pillars, yeah, and that's, that's what, what makes believe. us to have great Ooh. relationship. And mis misinterpretations. I think that people just need to educate themselves, and I think this open house can pr bring that education to to the community. Yeah, that that just can very well and, be and brother next Jerry, imam. the next imam, <laughs> <laughs> the next imam, <laughs> <laughs> the next imam. <laughs> so brother Jerry. <laughs> So David and Jerry and uh, uh, Brother Ricardo, you guys were looking at some of the Women in Islam posters. You know, the number one misconception people have about Islam is about women in Islam. Yes. So what can be like one misconception that you guys had before coming here that God clarified based upon our friend here and the posters and what you see here? What do you say, Brother Jerry? Uh, I, I've done a lot of travel 
uh, during my, for my business and vacations. And this, this planet has a lot of diversity. So I personally, I like to educate myself. I've been here several times and I oh, keep yeah? coming. Yes, because not just because of the food. I just <laughs> <Not because> <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why do you have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> because, because but because of food because too. <laughs> the food is good. However, I, I, I like to learn. I have an open mind. Uh, I was brought up as Catholic, but I also I'm fully aware there are many other religions. But as uh, Ricardo was saying, if you if you study this religion, there's a lot of commonality. Mm -hmm. Just that they were adopted by different nations, different civilizations. So. I, I uh, always like to learn and I like diversity. I come here to educate myself. The misconception you, you ask about, about women in general, my personal observation have been to all religions have somehow either in consider women, at least the perception that I have with some of my friends and family that women were always considered a little bit as followers instead of leaders in religions. Mm -hmm. But I think that is slowly changing. I've seen women more and more in the forefront and, and maybe a lot of things are being clarified because in my opinion women are the same as men. Of course, in some religion that's not very apparent. So now, that is they one could misconception. There may be a misconception, they may be real, we don't know, but I'm always educating myself on what, what's real. So when it comes to education, um, you guys would be surprised, and not you, you know this, you guys would be surprised to find out that the oldest continuous university in the whole world, according to Guinness Book of World Records, according to UNESCO, it was made by a Muslim girl wearing the hijab. Was that right? Yes, the oldest continuous, way before Harvard and Oxford and Penn State, any campus all over the world, it was a Muslim lady who laid the foundation of a campus that still exists in Morocco and that's, build, that's been labeled as the oldest continuous university in the world. What's the name of it? You know? uh, it is called as the University of Kharavayin. In It was made in the year 859. Wow. 859. In the 859. Uh, BC? No, not BC. AD. 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 A